So you want to create your own hack menu for any game? Then this video is for you. In this tutorial you will create your own sheet menu oh that can enable things like god mode and change in-game currency. And of course you can customize this to your game and your style. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so. The game that I chose is Shantae, Alfine Hero. I want to hack my current gems. So let's find them in Shitania. We search for the value that we want to change, 259 is mine. Then we go back in game and change the value. So we can just kill some enemies and collect their coins. There we go, 260. That's the new value we will search in Shitania. After the second search, you can see that we only have two addresses left, which means that we can test one of these to check if it's our value. We change the green worm first because it's static, and you can see that our value changed in game. So we found the address for our current gems in the game. Perfect, we have the first value for our sheet menu, changing the gems, but we want another one. So I will pick God Mode. So to achieve this god mode feature, we will first have to find our health points. We will search for an unknown initial value of the float type, because health points are almost always floats. After the first scan, we will go back inside of the game and take some damage. Once that's done, we will search for a decreased value. We can also search for unchanged value if our health points hasn't changed. So we will repeat these steps, go in game, lose some health, search for decreased value. But we can also eat an item in the game that boosts our health, like this one, and then search for increased value instead. Let's quickly search for some decreased value again, just to filter out the final addresses. So when you have a low amount of addresses in the scan list, we can start to change some of these and check if it changes our value in game. So these addresses that show 7 are suspicious to me since we can see that our health bars, they are made out of 4 quarters and we have 1 whole health plus 3 thirds. That's 7 out of 8, which means that we can change this and hopefully it will change our health in game. If we change it to half or four points, we can see that we only have one health bar. Perfect, that means we have found our health in the game. So the problem is, if we change this value, we will have to change it over and over again because it will go to its maximum health and then go downwards. Bruh. So to create a good mode, we'll just disable the damage function. So. We will go into the settings and enable VEH debugger to make sure the game doesn't crash. After that, we will find out what writes to our health address. You go in game and take some damage. After we took some damage in the game, we can see that in Sheet Engine there were three instructions that wrote to our value. We can click on show in this assembler for the first instruction and then right click on the instruction and replace with knobs or do nothing. If we go back in game and test taking damage now, we can see that we didn't take any damage. So we have successfully disabled the damage instruction. So. Let's take back the bytes and we can begin our Python sheet menu. So we will create a new file hackmenu.py and then we will import custom tkinter at ctk and pyman, our hacking library. If you don't have them installed like me, you will go to the CMD and use pip install custom tkinter and pyman. Perfect, we saw that the lines disappeared, there are no more errors, and we can start with our config. So, we will set the app size to something small, like 420 something, and then our font. You can use whatever font you want, I'll use this one. We will create an instance of PyMap using our game, because that's the game we will hack. You can find the full name in Sheet Engine, and you just put it here. 
including the .exe. Now because our addresses that we used in Sheet Engine have the module base, we will have to use it here as well. Let's create a function for our god mode or infinite health, whatever wording you want to use. It will be set to either true or false using a boolean, and we will get the address by taking our module base and then going into the disassembler, look for the instructions that wrote over our health, and then just copy the address there. Now, if we enable this infinite health, we will write to the game's memory using our address and then nops for the amount of bytes that our reduction instruction took. So we can count here that it took 8 bytes, so that will be 8 nops. Now, I made a typo here, so I'll fix it later, but it should say 8 instead of 4. We will return as a string saying infinite health enabled. Now, you don't need a green check mark, that's just what I wanted, that's on me. Now, if it's disabled, we will have to rewrite our previous bytes. So, we will take the bytes that we copied and paste, and now just rewrite the memory again if it's disabled. After that, we just return a string saying that it's disabled, and another return which is red, that's just the color, it's the same with the light green from before. Now for the gems part, which is way easier, I think we should have picked this one before the health, but whatever. We will use pm.writeInt, and then just take the module base, and then add our offset. So we go in sheet engine, and just look for our gems address, and add the exact address. We make a return saying that we have changed our gems. If your address was white here, you will have to just use the address, the offset, so the 0x and so on, and just remove the module base. That will do the trick. Now we can create our graphical user interface. So we will use the dark mode with the color theme blue. You can change this to whatever you want. And then we create our app instance using CTK. We will set the menu title. You can change this to whatever you want. I'll just pick Mac menu. We use our app size from earlier. And now we can create a frame. This frame will have some padding. We'll use the fill attribute and expansion. We will create a quick helper function, toggle health, just for messaging and color. So we'll set some statuses values. Don't worry about these variables. We will create them in a bit. We can now create our checkbox for the god mode and set it on our frame and use our god mode function for the command. So this will enable or disable our hack. We use the pack function to set it to the correct place and we can now create a label for our gems. So we just use the transparency as its background color and we pack it just like the checkbox. Now to accept user input, we will use the CTK text entry and just write enter amount, for example, 999. Now because the user can enter whatever they want into the text input, we'll just create a simple confirm gems function that uses a try statement and takes the value, we change the color and so on to the message of the status variable, and then we just catch any exception that occurs. We'll return a message if they did wrong. Next up, we will create a button which triggers our confirm gems function. At the end, we will finally, as promised, create our status variables. So this will be set to, the, to light green as a start and just say ready so the user know that they can start using the application. Now, before we run this, make sure that you fix these typos. It's meant to say eight here, because we write eight bytes. And also, make sure that you haven't made any typo in this appearance call. We can now run our program, minus hackmenu.py, and there is our beautiful menu. We can see our god mode 
feature, if we enable it, it changes the status to infinite health enabled. We can change our gems, click on confirm and see our gems change in real time. Amazing! Let's check with some enemies if our god mode is correct. We don't take any damage from the enemies. It stays at two healths. Amazing! If we disable it, we can see that we now do take damage again, which means that our sheet worked. We can also see that if we input something that is not correct, such as characters and so on, it doesn't crash. Wow! How great! Our very own hack menu in Python. So, if you want me to cover something else in Python or Sheet Engine or whatever it could be, let me know in the comments. Alright, see you fellas in another video.